Hey guys, what's going on? It's Mitch, Orb Agent Canadian here. I'm joined by Ryan, and uh, Ryan, what are we doing here? Well, today we're going to be failing miserably on some Chronotide. I, I mean, I say that with the utmost encouragement to what we're going to be doing Maybe here. Maybe you're going to be failing. I'm pretty hardcore at Adventure Maps. Don't mind what I've been telling you in Skype behind the scenes. Yeah, like. okay, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Yeah, we quit two hours in and we got nowhere. <laughs> yeah, anyone on my channel, if you remember Goldmine, uh, how long did that one last? Not too long. <laughs> All right, so uh, welcome to Co uh, Chronotide. The, the usual custom map rules apply. No breaking, placing blocks unless asked, hinted at, enchanting. Item enchanting is permitted. Crafting, you may craft with any items that you find. Exploring is encouraged and may be rewarding. Difficulty play on easier or normal. Map created by Vladimir von Liechtenstein. <laughs> uh, thanks for downloading. I hope you have fun. Please read the README file for the full rules instructions. Uh, Did I'm you taking do that? all the items. That sucks. All right, you can have you can have them all. No, I don't you, even. You don't need any of this. I got I three I books here. <laughs> I don't want anything to do no, with screw it. books. You take the books. You do the reading. No, 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 no. I said no. I said no. <laughs> All right, wait. Oh, uh, no. Useful info. Should I read it? Yeah, I'll give you one. One. I'll give you half the supplies, but I get the better sword. What is the? What is the? Um, what is the story behind this exactly? Um, Chronotide by Vladimir. I don't know. We're looking for vampires. I don't know. <laughs> I, okay. I have no idea. Do you have to read these books? Yes, you do. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, which sh which one should I read first? Welcome? Okay, yeah, that, that one, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, welcome to Chronotide, friend. You have been summoned through the time stream by the Chrono Crystal because it believes you can help the inhabitants of this city. I'm the warden of the Chrono Crystal, and I shall do my best to explain our situation. Alright, how do I go to the... Oh, next page, alright. <laughs> Great darkness came to our... A great darkness came to our city and struck at the Chrono Crystal. The energy shockwave from the crystal shattered the building surrounding it. The earth was. <laughs> you keep doing that. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep running around and finding things. I just found a bed, like two beds, so it's perfect nice. for us. We can sleep together already. Should I do it in more my Morgan Freeman voice? The earth, the earth. Split. That's Morgan Freeman. And the lava spewed into the surface, causing chaos for the city. Yeah, that's not Morgan Freeman. No, I don't know. Okay. I don't know. You had the Christian Bale voice a little bit better there, if with that's Batman. what you're going for earlier with the Batman yes. suit. Yes, awesome. All right. Uh, so yeah, the Great Darkness came. Blah blah blah. Shattered everything. The Earth was split in the lava. Okay, okay, okay. All right. In yeah, we act. are surrounded by lava everywhere right now. All right. In an act of preservation, I activated the crystal, placing the city's inhabitants in temporal stasis. <laughs> Temporal stasis. What did you do to these people? So that oh they, my god! So that they exist between time. The crystal then injected. Its this is seven, gonna be a great let's play. <laughs> it's seven energy cores through the time stream to seven different points in time. This is where you come in. Throughout the city, there are seven vaults. Each vault contains a time portal that is preset to points in time chosen by the crystal. You need. After each time portal, retrieve the energy cores and place them into the crystal. The crystal will only be able to activate one vault every hour. The lights around the crystal will. Oh indicate shit! That means this is at least seven hours. My god! Once all seven energy cores have been retrieved, the eighth vault at the clock tower will open for you. <sighs> so, so what are we looking for? Redstone. So we we gotta go to these towers. Yeah, I'm I'm just been jumping around the whole time you've been reading. I found a, some beds. I found some more chicken, some arrows, some good stuff. Back to me because I'm scared. No, I refuse. All right, all right. All right. Wait, hold on. There's two more books. Energy cores or useful info. Let's go to useful info. Yeah, we probably need that first. In creating the temporal stasis, the Chrono Crystal transferred memories of key individuals to the pages of the books. These books will be useful in helping you find the energy cores. This is how I am able to help you even though I am not actually here. You are merely reading a preset snapshot of my memories. This is so fucking confusing. Yep. It is I like it. Timelines. It is possible that the darkness has had an influence over the created timelines, so expect things to be not as they seem. Equipment. I'd suggest having a look around the city before you journey through any time portals and find yourself some equipment. All right, and then the last book, um, the it says, oh, okay, here we go. Uh, it's called 
energy cores. So we need to find these energy cores. Uh, what do they look like? To you, the energy cores will look like jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, okay, have okay. Them break the jack-o'-lantern and then pick it up. Um, how do I place them on the chrono crystal? Equip the jack-o'-lantern and place it in the alcove of the chrono crystal that corresponds to the vault you retrieved it from, placing it on top of the snow block. Okay. Oh, well, the zombies are spawning. It's nighttime. Oh, shit. <laughs> you want to hear something random? It's a little bit creepy. When I ran upstairs just now to grab some water, I heard some Metallica blasting, and usually that's not such a good sign. Usually that's uh, a sign that something is happening upstairs in my parents' bedroom that I, I don't I don't want to intrude on. But fortunately, not, not this time. God, I'm so glad I don't live with my parents. Ew. <laughs> That is like the grossest fucking ass. <laughs> I thought you might like to hear that. Oh, thank you for totally making everything that I just read go out of my brain and having this weird image of my parents having... Oh, ugh. Sweet. All right, so speaking of uh, parents and Jack and Jack Lanterns, I'm going to go in the power fucking room. The pa oh, okay. University Street. This is, like right here, it basically spells power fucking. Power fucking. That's where we're going. We can destroy vines. That's the only thing. Okay. But I'm not All sure right. if we want to, because they can help us get to places. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. There's book. There's a bookshelf. All right. How do we? I don't see, really that... see any power fucking in here. There's no power fucking going on in here unless we power fucked each other. Nah, I'm out of here. I'm trying to do this early in the series. <laughs> I mean, is there is there any method to this madness, or do we just kind of explore the city and uh, see what we can find? I found a lever. Sweet, really? What it do? Whoa. I don't know. I heard some movement. Okay, do it again. I'm gonna look from the outside, see if it's on the outside. Okay. Ready? Yep. Some lights just went on and off in the building. Side. Wait. Oh, there. Oh, whoa! Enchanting table. Oh, sweet. Cool. Okay, so that's not gonna come in handy. That's where we power fuck. Yeah. Once we have things to power fuck with. All right. So, so let's find another building. Let's definitely get geared up before we go to these chrono, uh, chrono boosters, uh, McGavins. All right. I'm gonna check out the lazy garden. Check it out. Be careful, man. Never know what's going on. All right, I'll go. I'll go to the next building. Now, something that's interesting is in the rules. The guy said that no mobs will spawn except for the ones he's already pre-placed and like assigned and stuff. So, I guess there's not too much to worry about yet. I found a crafting table and a. Uh, I think a, I already uh, robbed that furnace. Does it have pork chops in it? Um, I don't know. Holy shit! What the fuck? What? I hear zombies knocking down doors and shit. Where the fuck are these zombies? Ah, I found a chest. Optifine. You... What happened? Oh, I... Optifine. I don't have that. No, there's just zombies beating down doors. <laughs> Parent stairs. Alright, I'm gonna try and get to this chest. Oh, you're right near the chest, actually. Where is it? It's, uh, do you see where my name's going? Oh, fuck. It's the room. Actually, I might be able to get there off these vines. Yep, I made it. We have a bow and more arrows. Sweet, I'm keeping all these arrows. I want all the arrows, yo. All right, I've got a, I got a pretty good lookout spot. Okay. Uh, and I see nothing. Sweet. Just vines and more vines. Vines on vines on vines. Okay. So, do you hear this knocking down of? I have things? no Minecraft volume, so that's something people always get mad at me about. Christian, I don't know if you know Christian is Fatless Moon, the guy who loves banning people on my channel. He uh, he always plays Hunger Games with me, and he's always saying he can hear people behind us, and I, I don't hear a thing, so. <laughs> Good, great, fantastic. Yep. All right. Where in the fuck are the jack-o'-lanterns? found a creepy little staircase here. All right, I'll go up the left side, you go up the right side, and we'll meet, obviously. Yep, in the middle. And anything on this level? I see nothing. Exactly. <laughs> Oh. oh man, I hope this doesn't turn out to be a failure. This map looks really cool aesthetically. Let's hope it's uh, not shitty in terms of the storyline. 
Uh, it shouldn't be. I mean, it looks like there's a lot of time put into it. We just gotta find some... I think we're just trying to find shit right now, right? Yeah. Then we just go to the chrono... I don't know. I don't know. I'm acting like I know what I'm talking about, but I don't. Oh, jeez. I almost took a fall. That wouldn't have been good. There's no chest in there. There's no lever. There's no chest. Nothing? Really? Yeah, there's a lot of empty buildings. Oh, chest on the top. Chest on the top. I gotta figure out how to get up there now. Is this it? I'm just gonna assume that we can go vine it up to the top. You know what would be oh. really very useful on this? Getting some... Uh, do shears chop down vines so you can place them, do you know? I have no idea. Do you have shears? I do not, but I found my way up anyways. We got two regener... Oh, wait, no, this is an instant health and a regeneration potion, a sharpness two sword, and more food. I'll give you my stone sword. I don't need it anymore. Damn it. Okay, so I don't need to come up there, do I? Nope. Here you go. I'm going to puke it on you. You ready? Right, I'm ready. <laughs> and there's some torches and food. Awesome. Yes. Alrighty guys, I hope you all enjoyed watching some Chrono Tide with Ryan and I so far, and if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, and something you also need to take into account is that the next part, part 2, will actually air early over on Ryan's channel tomorrow. My part 2, and actually my part 3 as well, won't air until Sunday the 16th of September. So if you want to see part 2 early, make sure you go subscribe to his channel, the link is in the video description, xrpmx13. And uh, Ryan is an awesome guy, so I really enjoy filming with him, and I hope you guys enjoy his company as well. So I will talk to you guys all later. Take care now.